Hello everyone, this is a short video on the subject if I feel safe in the Philippines. As you know, I live on the island of Sigior and there are a lot of negative travel advices for the area that I live in. And a lot of friends in the Netherlands ask me if I'm safe and if I feel safe. To be honest, yes, I wasn't even aware of any trouble. I live in my own little bubble here in my house and on the island. Maybe that's a little bit ignorant, but um, that also tells a little bit about how the situation and the atmosphere in the Philippines is at the moment. Yes, of course, there was an incident in Bohol, but that's exactly what it is, an incident. In Europe, there have been many, many incidents and there's no negative travel advice for Europe. There's only the normal advice that you should use your common sense and your gut feeling when it comes to traveling to areas that might be a little bit more sensitive to terrorist attacks. Do I notice anything on the island about the incident in Bohol and all the news you read that uh, there was uh, a high risk and there's more uh, response from the government? As a matter of fact, yes, I did. We just finished Holy Week and during that period there was more police on the island and more armed forces than I've ever seen on the island during a normal time of year. There are some checkpoints on the island every now and then in the weekend, but those are just regular police checkpoints and um, it's all very relaxed. Police ask you for your papers and um, ask you where you're going and you can go on with your trip. They're very polite, they're very kind. Um, it doesn't have the atmosphere of tension. Now, yesterday I got an email and Sigur is still on that list that um, it's advisory not to travel there unless, unless you have to. So is the south of Cebu and uh, the south part of Negros Oriental. Yeah, sure. I think the same travel advice should go for London or Paris or Brussels or maybe even Amsterdam. It's all about common sense. Don't go in areas where um, a lot of people are and there's tension. I was on the boulevard the other night and there was a very drunk guy and he was making mischief and then that's a moment to finish your meal and go. I guess that's for every situation where you are and accidents can happen all over the world and so can terrorist attacks. If I'm on my little orange dot, because that's the color Sigur has on the map of the Dutch government at the moment, if I'm on my little orange dot, dot and I live in constant fear, then who's winning? That's what I mean when I say I wasn't even aware of any tension. The atmosphere on the island is very relaxed, high season is happening and there are a lot of people traveling to Sigur that have uh, big fun and good times on the beaches. The weather is just lovely. Uh, it's uh, an average of 35 degrees during daytime and uh, yeah, it's a good life here and uh, no, I'm not aware of any terrorists sailing on their boats past this island going to Bohol or to Cebu or whatever. It's just business as usual. So, do I feel safe on Sigur? Do I look relaxed? Yes, I do feel safe on Sigur. I believe the Filipino government is in full control of what's happening here and um, Accidents can happen anywhere. I can get up from this hammock. I can walk to the main street and get hit by a bus. I mean, it's not that life should be ruled by fear. Your life should be ruled by common sense and by relaxing and having fun. And that's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. It is uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. It's very warm. There's a little breeze, so I feel lucky. And yes, I feel very, very safe in the Philippines. Thank you for watching.